can then click on my video. The map is waiting for you. Oh yes, we're gonna perimeter and area. Okay, I'm done. You're welcome. Okay, <laughs> good morning. <laughs> welcome back. Let's do this thing. Will you please read with me our goal for the day? It says, use a line plot, do you remember those? To record the number of rectangles constructed from a given number of unit squares. Hmm, okay. So at the top, I have this covered for a raison. Let's read it together. It says, use unit square tiles to make rectangles for each given number of unit squares. Complete the charts to show how many rectangles you can make for each given number of unit squares. The first one is done for you. You may not use all the spaces in each chart. Okay, so here we are. Again, we don't have unit square tiles, right? If you want to use that same template that we used the other day, you may. You might have enough room down here. You can also use a piece of paper. You can also use your mind. If you just want to think about it and write it down, that's fine too, okay? Your choice. But I'm going, I have my answers covered. I want you to pause this and go fill out the rest. Before you do that, however, I want you to know, notice something. You see how when they did the number of square units, right? So this is kind of like the area, not kind of, it is. This is the area, the area is 12. The number of rectangles I made, one, two, three. So the width, for example, right? The width is gonna be one, and then you're gonna go 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So now we have 12. This is the rectangle that they made, okay? So what I don't wanna see, or what you don't need to do, rather, is put 12 and then one or six and two, because this is that one's already taken care of. So you're gonna think of fact families, right? You're gonna think of what can I multiply to get 12? For this one, you're gonna think, hmm, what can I multi multiply together to get 13? Okay, and like it says at the bottom, you may not use all the spaces in each chart. Okay, so let's do this first one together. What can you multiply to get 13. Just one and 13, that's the only thing. You can't do two times anything, it's an odd number, it's prime, it, we're not doing it. Sorry, 13, you only have one, okay? So go ahead and pause this, complete the rest, and meet me back here. All right, welcome back. We are going to now, we get to make a line plot. Do you remember when we made line plots, how much fun that was? We get to do it again. So let's read number two together. I bet you know what it says. It says, create a line plot with the data you collected in problem one. Okay, so let's kind of figure out. I can see my title. It says number of rectangles made with unit squares. And here's my label down here, number of unit squares used. We're gonna represent one rectangle with an X. Okay, and then we have 12, to 18. Hmm. Okay. So we need to fill in those blanks. Here's 12. We need to do 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And then we're going to fill in with X's how many rectangles we were able to make with each of those square unit tiles slash with that area. Okay. So 17. Did we do 17? We must have. Yeah, we did. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. Just trying to figure out how to spread these out so that they're relatively even. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, I'm good with that. And let's go ahead and label these little notches. 15, 16, and 17. Awesome. Now we just need to boop, boop, check which, how many they each have. So 12, they did it for us. Thank you. Ha, made three rectangles. So let's put three X's on 12. One, two, three. How about 13? We already discussed, right? 13, 
just the one. Just the one for 13. And remember when you're making a line plot, you want that first X to be the same across. How about 14? How many did you get for 14? I got two times seven and one times 14. Did you get the same? Awesome. Let's plop two right there. One, two. How about 15? I got three times five and one times 15. Same? Excellent. So that one has two also. How about 16? Oh, 16's up there. I got two and eight, four and four, one and 16. And all that work we did yesterday with um, the areas of 16, that really reminded my mind of all of these combos. So 16 has three. One, two, three. Excellent. I made that one a little bit high. Because now it's a little bit higher. Okay, it's, I just have to forgive myself. Uh, how about 17? Did you just get the one? Yeah, there's nothing else I could... We can, you can multiply to get 17, right? So just the one. And then lastly, 18. I got three for that one. Three times six, two times nine, and one times 18. Did you get the same? If you missed one, that's okay. Just fill it in now, right? Maybe I reminded your mind. This one has three also. One, two, three. Excellent. Okay, let's read number three together. Which numbers of unit squares produce three rectangles? So I'm going to write numbers, let's see, 12, 16, and 18 unit squares produced, that's the word they use, so that's the word I'm going to use, produced three rectangles. Boop. And lastly, will you read it with me please? Why do some numbers of unit squares, such as 13, only produce one rectangle. Well, I've kind of already mentioned that, but if you had to put it in your own words, what would you say? Just say it out loud. Tell your dog. Tell the birds outside, the squirrels, the butterflies if you see any. Right, that's the only thing, that's the only factor, right? The only thing that you can multiply together to get 13 is one and 13. And that's why it only produces one rectangle. So let's write that down. I'm gonna say the only way to get a product of 13 is to multiply one times 13. Which means there is only one possibility Or side lengths. What am I writing right there? Side <laughs> lengths. Okay, great work today, three, third grade. I will see you tomorrow for our very last lesson. Good work. I miss you. Stay classy. Catch you on the flip.